these are so much fun. Dinner, dessert, and a little detective work, too. <laughs> you get to nibble on clues until you crack the case. It all is happening at the Sleuth Mystery Dinner Theater. Their show's there. It's been around for a while. David Martin is there. With some, these, listen, they are really fun, David. You must be cracking up the whole time. I am, but I got to give you props, Amy. Nibble on clues. Who wrote that? Give that person a raise. Thank you. Amen to that. Hello, everybody. How are you? Very good. Thank you. Okay, so we are live at Sleuth's Mr. Dinner Shows. They have shows every night at 7 30. They're two and a half hours long. And what's the elevator pitch? How do you pitch it to folks? Um, well, it's the best show in town because we have the best food, and we have 15 shows, so you can come back every single night, see a completely different show with a completely different cast. Yeah, but there are no shows in elevators. Oh, that's true. Right, right. It'd be a little small, wouldn't it? Is every show a different because you have a lot of improv and interaction with the audience. Yeah, the audience makes a big part of our show because you, they're in. They, they like interact with us. They they get on stage with us. They become part of the show. So you never know what you're going to see. And the ultimate goal is to solve a crime, a murder mystery. Is it a murder in every show? Yeah, we nibble on clues. <laughs> Well, except one in the in Super Con Caper. That's our kids show. It's not a murder in that one. Gotcha. But we will be having a murder for Mother's Day. Ooh. Very fun to come see us with your mom. Okay, or mother-in-laws. Yeah, absolutely. And we give a little special present to those mothers out there, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> no, we don't. So it's a vast dining room, multiple vast dining rooms. What's the best seat in the house? Oh, all of them, because we actually come out in amongst the people. We even sit with you. I love to sit with people. Mm -hmm. How do you handle hecklers? I don't. You don't? No. I ignore them. Ignore them? Yeah, they try to be funnier than me, and I'm just funnier than they are. And you have some audience members that probably don't want to be involved, but tough, right? Tough love. You got to be part of the show. Oh, yeah. And I mean, who wouldn't want to be, right? <laughs> All right, so let me ask you this. Uh, unlimited beer and wine, is that a good idea? It is a great <laughs> idea. It's a little bit more fun for everyone. The lights are brighter. The jokes are funnier. <laughs> what do you think? Unlimited booze is good? Oh, absolutely. It's not unlimited booze, though. It's unlimited beer and wine. Right. you got to buy your booze. Well, yes, we have a bar in the lobby, too, when you get here, if you want some, like, liquor drinks. Mm -hmm. And what makes a good audience member, in your estimation? Uh, one that laughs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you get people there, and they kind of, like, they're like a box of rocks. We don't like them. We don't like them. You send them out to the lobby, right? <laughs> what makes a good audience member for you? Oh, wow. Someone who likes me and tells me I'm pretty. Very good. So, everyone. What is the website for more information? Okay, it's again for the tenth time, David. It's www.sleuths.com. And ticket prices start at how much? $63.95. It includes all the goodies. Bob and Amy? You have your date for the weekend, Saturday night. Oh, yes. David, David. So funny. By the way, reservations recommended. Oh, I'll absolutely. tell you, David. You always take reservations. Nope. David, I worked I worked in dinner theater years ago, and I'll tell you my favorite audience member were the ones who tipped. So just <laughs> pass that along to them. Oh, good point. Good point, Bob. Very clever. Thank you.